Kenya's dairy industry is dynamic and plays an important economic and nutritional role in the lives of many people, ranging from farmers to milk hawkers, processors and consumers. Kenya has one of the largest dairy industries in Sub-Saharan Africa. It is also a sophisticated industry in Kenya with an estimate of 5 billion liters of milk being produced in the country. It plays an important role not only in the economy but also in the general well-being of the Kenyan population. Kenya is one of the highest consumers of milk in the developing countries, hence provide the industry with a huge opportunity to develop further. Dairy farming in Kenya is an aspect that has created more attention to many farmers in the country since many people are opting for it. The Africa Dairy Conference and Exhibition is a platform that has been organized to improve the dairy industry in the country with technology being at the top note. It is undoubtedly the largest and the most comprehensive dairy sector event in Africa and beyond. The Expo is an annual event that brings together all major stakeholders including business leaders, government representatives, technology entrepreneurs, research institutions and multinational investment firms looking to expand in the region. Industry professionals, business owners and investors greatly value this opportunity to network and explore the value chain of the African dairy market. The event is the hallmark of the Eastern and Southern Africa Dairy Association, ESADA. The event is a major opportunity held annually by players within and outside the daily sector to showcase their products to consumers and other decision makers to create new markets, orient the consumers with their new innovative products, meet and share knowledge with others. It is usually held in different countries and this year Kenya was lucky to host the event. The Expo is a major platform for stakeholders to display the latest technology, to network and to expand their market base. We take a tour of the exhibition to find out what the Expo held for farmers. making. We met Julius Nyogwoka who works for Kentrack Limited. Kentrack Limited is a franchise holder of agricultural machinery from most world renewed agricultural equipment manufacturers and suppliers. Kentrack Limited is an agricultural mechanization solutions provider. Uh, we sell agricultural machinery, equipment, implements, and tools to farmers uh, in Kenya and across the other East African countries. Uh, we sell agricultural tractors. Uh, land preparation equipment like plows, we do harrows, we do planters, we do harvesting equipment, crop protection equipment, uh, and post-harvest technologies as well. Uh, but recently we've developed very keen interest in dairy farming, and this has been informed by the fact that uh, uh, most of the farms that are utilizing uh, traditional or conventional agricultural machinery as we know them are into cereal production. And uh, with the effects of climate change and uh, issues to do with the market, the farmers that are doing cereals in this country have sometimes to wait for four, six, up to nine months before they can earn an income from their enterprise. So, as a business, we deliberately looked at an enterprise within the farming system that a farmer can do to be able to earn income on a more regular basis. Kentrack focuses on both small and large-scale farmers. They have a wide range of dairy products equipment and some of them include the calf feeder and the milking machine. Well, some commercial farmers prefer using the calf feeder to ease their activities. Julius tells us more on how this equipment operates. It's a calf feeder. Calf feeder. Uh, most farmers that are doing dairy farming commercially are not allowing their calves to go and uh, suck milk from their mothers. So they milk the cows and then they, they deliver the milk to the cows uh, in the quantities, of course, specified de depending uh, on the stage of growth of the cow. So what this machine does for you 
is that once you receive your milk, you put it in here, you are able to heat it to a temperature similar to that of the milk coming straight from the udder. So that when you are feeding your calves, they are receiving milk at the right temperature. For people that are using milk replacers, you can also use this machine to be able to formulate. A receiving chamber here, you mix your border and, and, and water as advised by the people selling the replacer. And then you eat it to a temperature that is uh, suitable for feeding and then you are able to trolley this to where the calves are and, and feed them. So one person can operate it. So, and it has a measuring unit. If you know how many liters you are giving each calf, so you'll be able to dispense either to the pail that the cows are using or to the feeding bottles as you move. This is a milking machine for the small scale farmers or for farmers who have got one to 10 cows. Uh, it's a mobile milking machine. Uh, you can run on electricity. Um, this is the milking cluster, which you put onto the teats of the cow. And then your milk will flow in through the pipe work into the bucket. We're using stainless steel aluminium buckets, sorry, stainless steel buckets. Um, and these are the cleaning brushes. For example, after you're milking, you want to clean, you use these brushes to clean the pipe work. And then we also have containers for carrying milk. These are stainless steel lockable buckets which farmers can be able to use in uh, milk transportation. Food grade stainless steel. And we have from 10 liters to 50 liters. You see it's lockable. And if you put milk in here, you will not be able to pour out. This is our uh, pipeline system for milking. We call it pipeline because when you milk, you get milk from your cow, the milk goes straight into your cooler through a pipeline. So you receive milk from the cow, the milk comes into a measuring unit. This is a milk meter. Actually, after you finish milking that cow, this cluster will automatically come out of the herder and hang itself here. So, this system has got a sensor that will tell you that you now have mi finished milking this cow and it will withdraw the cluster from the cow and hang it here by way of this takeoff cylinder. Once the milk has been metered, it will come into this pipe, it will come into this receiving unit. When this receiving unit is full, it has a sensor, this one here which actuates the milk pump here to evacuate milk from here into the cooling tank. This part is the cleaning part of this milking machine. You see, these are pipelines that are already laid and they are permanent wherever they are. So you need to be able to clean them in place. So this is our CIP system. And, um, what it does for you, it's part of the controls of the entire system. If you are milking, you put this arrow, you set it into milking. When you finish milking, you just command it to wash the system. It will pick cold water to rinse the entire system. It will pick detergent. It will pick hot water and circulate through the system to clean your milking system. So this is the CIP part of uh, that machine. And once it finished milking, it will evacuate the dirty water from this basin to where you are disposing it. 
cow brush is mainly used for cow comfort, hence used for massaging. It is mounted on the wall to enable the brush to swing sideways. It is connected to a socket and it has a motor that enables it to rotate. The cow then moves around it to be massaged. Cows often get stressed. It's a cow comfort brush for massaging the cows. Uh, you mount it on the wall. Uh, at the bottom is where you mount on the wall. And then this vertical part will be horizontal after mounting. And then this brush will be hanging vertically. So when the brush is uh, hanging, uh, the brush can swing sideways. Uh, it can swing sideways and also when you connect it to a socket, it has an electric motor. Uh, when the motor is on, the brush rotates. So the cow can come here when the brush is uh, where the cows are resting. The cows come here for comfort. It massages the cow's skin, uh, the back, the head, so the cow will be moving around uh, to be massaged. So cows also have stress. Stress can be from heat stress or maybe where they're staying, uh, it's not comfortable, or even if they're comfortable also, they, they being massaged by this brush uh, enables uh, blood flow to be uniform. And when the blood is flowing well in the body, the, milk, uh, the cow will produce milk uh, well without stress.